Hi, I'm Laurie. I'm a flight attendant, an artist, a mom, a wife, um, and I have a brain injury. And since March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, I thought I would share a little of my story and my symptoms so that maybe somebody out there might not feel um, as alone or maybe some family or friend um, would have a little more understanding of what the challenges are. So I've made notes for myself because my memory is not good. Um, I say mm a lot and that's me kind of rerouting. My uh, the more efficient channels that my brain used to use to get to things um, is being replaced uh, by new ones. So it's it's like my my brain's GPS is is um, acting like my GPS in New Jersey. It takes a minute to get everywhere. <laughs> so um, I also forget how to spell things. Um, and it's not so much that I've forgotten how to do it. It's that uh, when it when it happens, it's a complete surprise because I know how to spell the word, but. As I'm writing, I'll leave off a letter uh, like the D in window or the S on the word super. Just completely leave it off. You know, like who needs it? Um, I wix my words up. <laughs> so I'm um, transposing letters and digits a lot. If you try to give me a phone number to write down, it's going to take a bit because I will, I'll switch letter, uh, the numbers around and um, I'll forget the middle thing. And if you tell me blah, 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 I'm gonna forget the middle blah. I'm just gonna. <laughs> so, um, my eyeball feels like it doesn't fit. Um, my, my right eye is having a lot of issues, uh, and I think this is pretty common, but um, the, my convergence is, is not right. I'm not getting proper binocular vision. Um, the right one seems to not want to line up quite with the, the left one. And sometimes that eye feels like the muscles, it feels like I'm pushing weights when I'm moving my eye. Some days are better than others. Um, I don't exactly understand how to explain that uh, phenomena, but um, I'm hoping to get more answers as this goes on. I'm, I'm three months into my injury. Um, so flying monkeys. Um, kind of tired of those. I have a lot of floaters going on um, and I've been a migraine sufferer since I was a teenager and um, my understanding is that statistically people who have suffered migraines um, before their head injury seem to heal more slowly for whatever reason. Um, but definitely a lot of visual disturbance for me, um, spots, um, uh, even lines will break apart um, or vibrate it's 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 wild it's like I took a drug for it but I definitely didn't um, so strobe lights oh my gosh so I went to see a show with a friend of mine and the strobe lights basically paralyzed me I I couldn't I couldn't move I, I really I don't think I could have formed a sentence if I if I wanted to I just kind of you know put my head down I had glasses on and a cap and I was prepared for changes in light in the show, but I wasn't prepared enough. Um, so that's definitely, lighting is an issue. And I do wear tinted glasses, even indoors, because um, sometimes it the light can just be painful and it's such a disruption. It makes me feel a little dizzy. And if I can um, address that symptom, then maybe I'll have a little more energy to speak <laughs> or talk <laughs> or just think. <laughs> um, I have alarms in my ears. My ears have been ringing for three months. I don't see any signs of that stopping anytime soon. Um, sometimes it'll be a loud burst like in a movie when someone is exposed to a loud boom um, and you hear that and then it fades. <laughs> That's me. That happens in my head um, randomly. Not every single day, but when it does, boy, it, it it's, it's, it's upsetting, um, and sometimes it can last for a few minutes. Um, I don't like that. I would really wish that would go away soon. Um, I forget to eat. I have had a loss of hunger. Um, I don't know how common that is, but I, I don't feel hungry. I love chocolate, and I will eat chocolate, but it's because I like the chocolate, not because I'm hungry. <laughs> so that's been an interesting thing. Um, 
where's my body? I, you know, it's, it's such a weird thing that all the issues that I'm having with my, my eyes, my ears, um, just my, my brain. It's like, it's like, I don't know where my body is in space. Um, and I did this interesting, uh, test where I had a, a laser beam that I, I pointed at this, uh, target and I would look away and then, and follow the laser and then follow the laser back. And I did that a few times. And then I was, I was asked to close my eyes and do the same movement. And consistently, every time I did this, no matter the direction, I would end up a little north and to the right, <laughs> north and east of, yeah, of where I was supposed to be. So I just, it's like, I don't quite know, like maybe my brain got shifted somehow. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But um, I thought I'd just share this hashtag. I think you could probably find more information from others. Um, uh, it says more than my brain injury. And that's kind of the, the hashtag for the brain injury awareness. Um, it took me a couple tries to write that y'all. Not even gonna lie. Um, but I hope this helps somebody in dealing with their issues. Um, migraines are terrible and they're just, I just, I feel like I'll just never be able to get rid of them. Um, but some days are better than others. And I, uh, the, the progress is at a glacial pace sometimes, but it, it is improving slowly. Um, I, I miss work. I miss my friends who I fly with. Um, and I hope to get back to all of you really soon.